Welcome to the directprint.io guided setup. I'm going to step you through really quickly how to set up your organization and hopefully get you printing um, in record time. When you first sign up to the system, you'll be presented with the dashboard view. This gives you a very quick overview of what's going on inside your organization with respect to printing. Uh, click the guided setup button. The first thing the system is going to ask you to do is, as an administrator on Windows, Chrome, uh, or Mac OS, it's going to ask you to install the print driver. Click Install Print Driver. This is going to take you to the Chrome Web Store. Click on Add to Chrome. This is going to add the directprint.io driver into your Chrome uh, on your particular computer. Uh, once it's added, you don't need to launch the app. You can indeed just close this window. As soon as you close that window, you'll notice that the screen has changed here and it's automatically started trying to detect printers that are on your network. You probably will start to see a list of printers unfolding in the bottom half of the screen here. We have a printer that's not currently um, broadcasting its presence on the network. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the IP address of the printer and we're going to click test. This has automatically detected the printer and it's detected that it supports PostScript, PDF, PCR5 and PCR6XL. It is auto detected the printer driver type. This happens to be a printer that is in our reception area. So I'm going to take uh, R-E-C-E-P-T-I-O-N. I'm going to take the opportunity to rename it at this stage and click next to add that printer to my organization. The uh, system will automatically add that printer to the print map and I'll show you what that looks like in a subsequent step. This next step of the setup is asking you to link directprint.io to G Suite. When you're ready, click on I am a G Suite admin. This is going to take you to a standard Google authorization screen. If you click use the domain or use the account that you use to administer your G Suite account, this is asking for read-only access to device metadata or OU structure, organization unit structure, groups, so Google Groups, and users on your domain. This is read-only access. We cannot, directprint.io cannot change anything inside of your G Suite domain. This has now automatically then synced the data from G Suite into directprint.io and it's begun and it's and it's already listing the available OUs that we have in our system. Just for the purposes of setup, we suggest that you pick an OU that contains users. There are lots of different deployment um, options for how you want to allocate printers. You can allocate printers via OU to users, to devices, um, to Google Groups, to individual users. Let's keep it simple to begin with. Let's try and allocate printers to an OU that contains users. So in this case, what I want to do just as a test, I'm going to allocate the printers to my HR department. So here is my OU, my, my staff HR OU department. If I click Next, that has now allocated the one printer that we had previously defined to uh, the staff HROU in the system. And again, I'll show you the details on what that looks like later on. The last step um, to get you up and running would be to force install the direct print application to your um, domain, to specific OUs within your domain, or indeed to the root of your domain. That will give all of your users access to the, uh, the direct print application and will automatically begin populating printers into their system. You don't have to do this at this stage. Obviously, you want to do a phased rollout, so you may choose specific domains or specific OUs to uh, deploy the application to. Over time, there is also a Windows and a Mac version of the application should you choose to do this. I'm going to click OK. I've done this. So this uh, is now ready to rock and roll. So this is, this is done. Um, so we have created a single printer. We have allocated the printer to the staff HR organization unit. And if I was to log on as a user, as a member of the staff HROU, then that printer will show in the list. I'm actually going to dive into a little bit more detail behind this and show you um, all of the different functionalities and how to set up your print map a little bit further now. So I'm going to click on don't show this again, add login. So we're back to the dashboard. It's shown us that basically we've completed all of the necessary steps at this stage in the, in the to-do list. The next step will be to actually fill out your map view. So in the previous step, I allocated printers to my HR department. Um, that's a, a Google OU. But one of the things that we need to do is actually describe to the system where the printers are at a physical level inside your organization. So this is our printer map. And the printer map describes the physical layout of your organization. We have the concept of the 
organization. In this case, we're called organization one. We have different regions with different offices in. We have different properties. Those are different offices. They could be schools, for example. They have different rooms inside of those offices. And then the printer. This is the printer that we, uh, that we allocated uh, previously. So to begin building out the map, first of all, I'm going to rename the regions. Um, the, I'm going to rename some of the items in the map. And then I'm going to build the map out to show you how you would actually build that map in the real world. So I'm going to edit this region. This is our um, this is our northwest region. So this contains all of the offices that are in the northwest region of our organization. So I've renamed the northwest region. Again, if I go back to my map view, you'll see that the change is now being reflected in the northwest. So this is actually northwest. This happens to be our Seattle. So this is our Seattle office. Uh, and again, I can update this and go back to printer, go back to the printer network map view. And you'll see that now I have a Seattle, the Seattle office. So we already have a reception printer and this should probably sit inside of the reception area. So I'm going to reception area. I click on update. Again, you get the idea. The pattern is exactly the same regardless of what of what entity we are. Um, we are working with inside of the map. What I want to do is create another space, another another area inside of the Seattle office. So in this case, our CEO happens to be sat in the Seattle office. I'm going to go to system configuration, rooms to create a new room. So I want something sitting on the same level of, as the reception area. This is the CEO. This is the CEO office. All of the other fields in this form are not mandatory. Uh, they are optional, so you don't have to fill them out. But again, if I go back to map view, you'll see now we have the CEO office inside of the Seattle, inside of the Northwest region, inside of organization one. And now when I add new printers, I'm given the, I'm given the option to add that printer to the CEO office. This is super important because when it comes to allocating printers um, to Google Groups, to OUs, to individuals, um, you can then pick particular printers, either individual printers themselves or a room's worth of printers or an office worth of printers to allocate to each of those Google entities. So super powerful where you can map printers from your map over to the G Suite domain. And that's what I will show you next. So with respect to G Suite integration, uh, you'll see here that we have got an up-to-date data synchronization. The data was synced very recently. And we've got a very small organization. We've got 11 OUs, three groups, for only four users and three devices. You may have hundreds or even thousands of users across your organization. I'm going to show you very quickly what the system had done initially during that setup process, during the guided setup process, and, and, how, uh, and how you can go about now editing that functionality. So. Uh, here is the list of all of the OUs that the system has brought in from Google. And you'll see that uh, under the HR, the staff HR OU, you see that we have one printer allocated. This is a result of running the guided setup process that we had earlier. And if I click on edit printers, you'll see that we have a single reception printer allocated to the staff HR OU. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and edit this in the future, I can decide to add a whole room's worth of printers or a property's worth of printers or indeed a whole region's worth of printers to this OU. At the moment, we have a single printer from the reception area that's been allocated. If you do add rooms, for example, if I were to add the reception area, you'll see that it comes up as a room. And the list at the end, this is a preview of the, the list of printers that the end user will see. It will actually dedupe the printers. So if you add, if you add a printer as a printer and then add a printer through adding a room's worth of printers, it will automatically detupe the list um, for your end users. All you have to do when, you, when you're editing at an OU level um, is just to click Save Changes, and that's done. That has now deployed the or it's deployed the reception area printer to your, H, to your HR OU um, from your G Suite domain. And that's as simple as it is. And that pattern repeats for 
uh, for example, for group printer allocation. So this is a list of all of the Google groups that are defined in the system. Here we have the executive team, we have the HR department, and we have staff. These are Google groups. You can edit them in exactly the same way. So again, if I wanted to give the executive team access to maybe all of the printers in the Seattle office, I can click on add. This will unroll at the moment just one printer because there is only one printer in our map. I will unroll that to uh, all of the users of the all of the users in the in the Google Group Exec team. Click Save Changes. That's done. And again, you can change your deployment method. So at the moment, we're deploying printers to G Suite users. So the system will only look at the user and device printer mapping. But if I select Option Four from this list, this will flip to deploy printers based on G Suite group membership only. You can see there are a total of seven different deployment methods that are supported by the system. You should be able to find one uh, mode that suits your organization. It will depend on whether you have fixed Chrome terminals uh, where you can do device-based allocation, whether you want to use groups allocation, or whether you want to use OU-based allocation as well. Additionally, we support individual user printer mapping. So you can create exceptions for particular users in your domain. We have a user called James. Um, I can add the user. And if I add the user to the exception list, it will automatically disable printing for James. But if James was a special case, if I wanted James to have access to a particular printer, again, I can select different printers from this list and allocate printers to James on an individual basis. This will override any OU or group setting that would otherwise apply to James uh, as, a, as a user. So you can see super powerful, um, very flexible different deployment methods uh, that are available inside of directprint.io to allocate printers to users, devices, groups, or individuals.